Satnam and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jai Gobind and this is your channel for grace. Thank you guys so much for being here live and thank you those of you that are watching the replay of this video. We are going to talk all about your August reading reflector. You are the most rare type and this is such a beautiful energy. I love the energy of reflectors and I resonate very, very much with reflector energy because I am a projector, a mental projector with a lot of undefined center. So I also resonate with this reading too. So excited to be here. We are going to pull an aura card, an energies, current energies card, strategy card, authority, past, present, and future with the astro dice and an animal spirit that will be guiding you for this month of August. Before we dive into the reading, I want to ask you to please give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, download my free moon astrology guide. I send out a weekly and a monthly uh, human design newsletter that you might really, really enjoy. Uh, also, we have an amazing community uh, held on the Mighty Networks app. It's called Channel for Grace Global Community, and we have free yoga classes. We have uh, free book book club circles. We have Kundalini yoga classes. We have new and full moon ceremonies. There's a lot going on, and a lot of free things that you have access to just by being part of the community. So there's links below to everything that I share about um, for you to check out. Also. Um, we are doing a special workshop tonight for the nodes in Aries and Libra. This is happening August 3rd at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, talking about this 18 month long transit and how to navigate through this energy. And then on August 8th, Jason and I from Ray of Light Tarot are hosting our Lionsgate Masterclass, which is all about manifesting, learning the laws of the universe, and how to manipulate energy so that you know exactly what to do when you're trying to manifest things in your life. And we will be providing an ebook with tarot spreads, with so card spreads. I did a meditation. We have essential oils for manifesting. It's a really, really fun thing um, to be able to uh, to have. It's a little tool that we created for you guys that you can take with you beyond the class. So I hope to see you there. All links are below. Let's dive right into your reading. So we're going to start with an aura card slash current energies see what it is that is the most potent thing affecting you in this moment okay so here's the card it is the seven of pearls okay seven of pearls is about hard work it's also about perseverance and it's also about being your authentic self <laughs> which is the irony of being a reflector, right? Because you don't have any defined center. So who, who is the authentic, who is your authentic self? That's a big question that reflectors I'm sure are always asking. Your authentic self is basically like, you had to look at all of the hanging gates that are in your chart and how those energies activate or, or how they express themselves through you. Which centers are they in? Because there's going to be transits within a 28 and a half day period that will activate these gates and will define the centers for you. So there's going to be moments where you feel like you actually have definition. Your authentic self is to be a mirror for humanity, to let us know how we are doing. The most important thing that you can do is take care of your environment. So your job right now is to be your authentic self, to work hard, and to feel like you can step into perseverance in your life whatever that looks like to you. What is your strategy card? So the strategy is the 56. We got the 56 gene key. But um, as a reflector, your strategy is basically to mirror you know the world around you it is to um wait you know a lunar cycle and and it's the same as your authority it's like the more that you pay attention to the cycles of 
time, the more that you will notice and the transits, the more that you will see how your energy shifts and changes throughout um, the month. So the 56 gene key, oops, I dropped it. Okay. <laughs> so this is going to give us insight into your um, strategy. So enrichment. This uh, gene key moves from the shadow of distraction to the gift of enrichment to the city of intoxication. I love this because this is very much a really good message for reflectors. True enjoyment is rooted inside your being rather than in the external. My gift to you, I come to bring you true enrichment, not mere enjoyment or entertainment. I want you to get the most out of your life so that you can enhance the lives of others. But first you must learn to balance fun with seriousness and you must wake up to all of the ways you distract yourself from who you are and how you truly feel. It's time to learn to discern between that which genuinely nourishes you and that which zaps your spirit. Notice where you are still a victim of your senses of overindulgence and self-deprivation. I care less about what you do than where you come from. Come from fear and you'll likely do too much, too little, or at the wrong time. Come from love and you won't need rules and protocols to guide you. Eventually, your attention will turn inwards towards gratitude and your presence will enrich the world. That is a powerful message for you reflectors. I love that. Enriching the world with who you truly are and stepping into your authority. All right, let's pull an authority card. This will just give us insight. So your, you know, your authority is to wait, you know, a lunar cycle. And we got Seraphim's Gateway, voice activation, angelic attunement, and divine support. So basically, it's this in the angelic realm that's coming through to uh, communicate with you. And one of the best things that you can do this month, I would say, is practice speaking and see what comes through your voice. Voice is going to be a very important thing to pay attention to and also feel the presence of the angelic realm, right? The seraphims surrounding you and bringing you clarity because that will also be a great way to um, make sure you're making the right decisions for you in your life. Speak things out, play with your voice, maybe even sing. Singing might be a really good thing for you to do and see what insight you're able to get from this. I'm going to pull the astro dice and we are going to look at past, present and future. So you get Uranus, the planet of revolution and change and transformation. So this is the past. You've been dealing with a lot of changes, a lot of shifting in your lives, maybe things that maybe you weren't aware of. You didn't really know that they were they, they were coming and then now they're here and you're like, okay, here we go. Life is changing. Things are different. The present and how you're basically going to be working with this energy during the month is you you get Libra you got to find a way to find balance and harmony in your life things are all over the place probably things are like you know you just don't know uh, exactly what's going to happen next what step is going to come next what things are going to show up next however because your see the element for you is surprise so if you live in a state of surprise it's actually beautiful for you as a reflector. This is this is a great place to be. And so things will continue to surprise you. Your job is to find more balance and harmony throughout this month. And we get the first house, which is the house of identity and self, sense of self, knowing who you are. And this is the future. So how funny that we started with a card that speaks about being your authentic self. We move to a gene key that talks about how to really fully live in joy and feel like you are you in your life by stepping into enrichment. We talked about the divine angelic helpers here for you. And now we literally get the first house, which means in the future, at the once this month is over, you're actually going to feel more like you have a sense of self. And that's a huge thing for reflectors because normally reflectors can feel like they don't know who they are because so much of their environment affects their feeling of who they are. So you will get a better sense of self 
And if you find, if you work on finding balance and harmony in your life, and if you continue to allow yourself to be in a constant state of like surprise and just love it, just love every minute of it. We get the sea serpent for you as your guiding animal. This is one of the spirit animals in the deck. So it's a really powerful frequency. Here we go. The sea serpent. The sea serpent is about healing emotional wounds, expressing desires. The sea serpent represents the energy of expression. Remember I was talking about using your voice this month? This is crazy. Whether it's emotions, creativity, sensuality, or desire, the sea serpent helps us move and direct our energy into a healthy current. When the essence of this card is in balance, we express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame. We know what we desire most. Our hearts are at ease and our relationships are meaningful and enduring. We loosen the grip of self-judgment and we let the cool waters of forgiveness in to heal our wounds. When the energy of the sea serpent is not yet activated, our emotions and creativity are left in the muddy waters. The current of expression stagnates in some areas of our lives and in others it floods. It's important to remember no matter what the waters of our emotional lives look like, the sea serpent loves us just the same. Like a mother, she wraps herself around us in a gesture of protection. She supports us as we learn to express our true natures. That is the, the same message I'm getting from the angelic realm. The sea serpent and the second chakra. The subtle energy of the sea serpent occupies the area of the Svadhisthana chakra, located deep within the pelvic bowl. This chakra is known as our center of creativity and desire and is associated with the water element. Svadhisthana translate as in her own abode, indicating this chakra is the home of the divine mother or the Kundalini herself. So, like I said, lots of amazing things, lots of alignment, lots of protection for you this month. Stay in that constant state of surprise and enjoy the process. And by the end of the month, you will feel like you know yourself more than you ever have before. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next time. And I hope you have a beautiful month.